um, to Rhea, to Jairos and Isidro, happy birthday, and Jerry and Anthony, um, and uh, also for the intentions of Cora, for the healing of, of uh, Denny, and we pray for the Father of Grace. Um, let's offer this Mass as well, of course, as always, for an end to the uh, COVID pandemic. Um, but let's not allow this rightful concern with the COVID pandemic to cause us to forget all the other issues, all the other problems, all the other sickness, all the other poverty that's always been around. Let's pray uh, for people to be concerned not just about uh, the COVID issue, but also poverty as a whole, and sickness as a whole, and suffering as a whole. So let's prepare ourselves now to worship the Lord in this Eucharist, to give him thanks, to give him praise, no matter what our circumstances might be like. Let's prepare ourselves by calling to mind our sins, including perhaps our lack of gratitude, our lack of trust in the Lord. And let's repent and let's receive the Lord's wonderful, amazing, loving forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sins in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ. Have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, who through the regenerating power of baptism have been pleased to confer on us heavenly life, grant we pray that those you render capable of immortality by justifying them may by your guidance attain the fullness of glory through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Upon which also there be a feast, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer. But his father was a Greek. The brothers in Lystra and Iconium spoke highly of him, and Paul wanted, to, wanted him to come along with him. On account of Jew, of that region, Paul had him circumcised, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they traveled from, from city to city, they handed on the people for observance the decisions which by the apostles and presbyters in Jerusalem. Day after day, the churches grow stronger in faith and increase in number. They region and Galatia because they had been prevented by the Holy Spirit from from preaching the mass, the message in the province of Asia. When they came to Mesh, to Mysia, they tried to go on into the Bethany. Bithany. But the Spirit of Jesus did not allow him, allow them. So they crossed through Mysia and came down to Troph. 
During the night, Paul had a vision. A Macedonian stood before him and implored him with these words, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we saw the passage to Macedonia and at once, concluding that God had called us to proclaim the good news of them, the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let all the earth cry, cry out, God, God with joy. Let, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyful to the Lord, all, all you lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful, joyful song, response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God, He made us, His we are, His people, the flock He tends, response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. The Lord is God, and the Lord is good, His kindness endures forever, and His faithfulness to all generations. Response. Let, Let all the earth cry out to God, God with joy. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. Day after day, the churches grew stronger in faith and increased in number. In some parts of the world, we see that still being the case. In some parts of the world now, day by day, we see the church growing stronger in faith. And day by day, we see the church increasing in number. In other parts of the world, especially in the West, in England and America and other places, Australia, <laughs> day by day, we see the church is growing weaker in faith and the numbers shrinking. in some parts of the world today, and why in the early church did we see the church's faith growing stronger and people becoming, turning to the Lord to follow Jesus, to become Christians more and more and more? Well, one reason is not, let me tell you one reason is why not the reason. It's not because 
the church made everything so easy and said, oh, come follow Jesus and your life will always be so easy. You'll have no difficulties, no sufferings. Sometimes that's what we, in the places where the church is shrinking, that's sometimes what we tend to say. But as we see uh, in today's gospel, for example, we see uh, that Jesus says it's not always going to be easy. People may hate you. People may persecute you if you follow me. Take up your cross, says Jesus. There's a lot of difficult things in following the Lord. Let's never deny that. But, but yes, it's something of joy. We heard in the, we heard in the psalm today, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. That's not to pretend there's no difficulties. That's not to pretend there's no suffering. That's not to pretend that we're not suffering. That's not to pretend that others aren't suffering. But it is to say that through that, through all of that, if we know the Lord's love for us, if we know what he's done for us and what he's doing for us, even as we recognize the suffering and the pain and the difficulty, and even as we ourselves go through pain, suffering, and difficulty. Nevertheless, under that will be a joy. And anyway, I, I, I wasn't going to give a homily today, but I ended up saying some things. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask one of the young people from Biatus just to share something of her life about that book, verse, uh, cry out to the Lord, uh, with joy all the earth. Uh, she certainly hasn't had an easy life like many people here. I don't know what she's going to say, but I just asked her to share on that verse. Stephanie, please. Yeah, good afternoon, brothers and sisters. I'm Stephanie Acero, and one of the gappers. And ano po, yung buhay ko po is hindi siya naging madali kasi ako po ay product ng isang broken family and Lumaki po kung wala, wala yung papa ko kasi may, may bago na po siyang pamilya. And sabang nahirapan po ako kasi naalala ko, isang beses lang po siya umatend ng, ng graduation ko. And ano pa po ako nun, kinder pa po ako nun. And yun lang po yung, yung araw na, na umatend siya sa graduation ko. Hindi ko po maalis sa sarili ko na yung ingles sa ibang tao kasi ano... Kinukumpara ko yung sarili ko sa kanila na kung, kung, kung kompleto siguro yung pamilya ko, masaya din ako. And dahil dun sa sitwasyon na yun, naging, naging yung mama ko sobrang hirap na po kasi ano, siya lang yung mag-isang nagtataguyod sa aming dalawa ng kapatid ko. And um, lagi ko po siyang pinag-pray na sana um, gabayan siya ng Panginoon. And, sa sitwasyon pa na, na, natin ngayon na may COVID pandemic, sobrang hirap po kasi kasi wala pong regular na trabaho yung mama ko and hirap po kami maka, makakuha ng, ng, ng pera pang tustos po sa mga bills namin. But nag, one time po nag-pray ako and katulad nga po sa responsorial sam ngayon, cry out. What is it? Joy to God all the earth. Yes, yun po, ano. Nag, nag-pray ako, nagsumi ako sa Panginoon, and then, yun nga po, yung PNA, nagpo-provide sila ng pangangalangan namin every week. Kaya kahit, kahit gano'n yung sitwasyon, kahit kailan sa isang, kahit simula nung isip yun, hindi po kami naghutuman kasi si God, gumawa siya ng paraan niya para, para masustain yung pangangalangan namin through people. And with that, may... May God be praised. Thank you. Salamat. Let's uh, to fill us with his love. He wants to do that. And that will give us the strength to go through the hit of whatever difficulties we might have, whatever trials we might have, whatever sufferings we might have, to go through them and even to go through them with joy.
So let's pray now. Let's pray as always for the world, for the church, for the poor, for the sick, for the hurt, for the lonely. Let's pray for uh, the mass intentions for today and for Lorraine in hospital, that the Lord bless her, that the Lord heal her, that the Lord strengthen her after her operation. For my brother Michael, again, happy birthday, that the Lord bless him. And Charmy and Maris living opposite and Bidibi Bedida in Block 7 and Gyro in San Isidro and uh, Rhea uh, in um, Situ Milita and Jerry, uh, wherever you are now, Jerry, and Anthony in Block 7 and uh, Intentions of Cora and Healing of Gardeni and for the Father of Grace uh, in the Middle East. Let's pray for a few moments in silence for all those intentions and of course for all our usual intentions, uh, including for us here in PNA, uh, in Payatas, and uh, for our distribution of, uh, of uh, food. So Lord, we lift up all these prayers to you. The world, the needs of the whole church, the needs of the poor, the sick, the hungry, suffering in many different ways, the needs of our families, the needs of our friends, the needs of our neighbours, the needs of our cities, of our countries. We lift them up to you together with all the unspoken prayers of our hearts, confident for we make them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Accept in compassion, Lord, we pray, the offerings of your family that under your protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. Through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. Life of all has written, risen. With paschal joy, Every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Christo vai gunita e sari a ini a e viram paka iti lumin inasa saluanati As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking in the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spreads throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people your Son has gained for your own. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours for ever and ever. Amen. 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 command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not to temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. But by the help of your mercy, 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. For the kingdom, and the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Let's offer each other now a sign of that peace. 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 Lamb of God, you, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
pray for them, that they may be one in us, so that the world may believe it was you who sent me, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us glorify the Lord by placing our trust in him. Thanks be to God.